Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Adda. In this video, we will discuss some objective question related to machine design. So, our first question is the casting produces by forcing molten metal under the pressure into the permanent uh, metal mold is known as. So, uh, for the permanent mold, we have the die casting. So, here the answer is die casting because in die casting we are uh, permanent mold is there and we are forcing the molten metal under the pressure the metal is subjected to mechanical working so the metal uh, we are performing different different operation uh, on the metal so here we have the option refining the grain size reducing the original block into the desired shape and controlling the direction of flow line so grain size of the metal we are refining uh, for the different operation if you see in the heat treatment we are performing with the grain size also and for and in the machining uh, for, uh, for in the machining operation uh, uh, we are converting the ori uh, means uh, <laughs> original block of the metal into the desired shape and controlling the direction of flow line uh, we are molting molten metal we are pouring in the casting or in the different process uh, so the direction of flow line is also we are controlling so the metal is subjected to all of this the third question is the temperature at which new grains are formed in the metal is known as so if you see the option here the recrystallization temperature is uh, is the correct answer here the new grains are formed the hot working of metal uh, is carried out at what at what temperature so hot working of metal is carried out above the recrystallization temperature during the hot working of metal so what are the possibilities during the hot working of metal so these are our option and if we see here for the hot working of the metal porosity of metal is largely eliminated grain structure of the metal is refined and the mechanical properties are improved due to the refinement of the grain so these all are the uh, conditions where during the hot working of the metal so answer is all of above the part of circular cross section uh, which are symmetrical about the axis of rotation so if you see here the option hot spinning is the process where uh, the part cross section is symmetric about the axis of rotation so correct answer is hot spinning so the cold temp uh, cold working of the metal is carried out below the recrystallization temperature our next question is the process of extensively used for making the bolt and nut is so for making the or for manufacturing of the bolt and nuts we are using the cold heading in a unilateral system of tolerance the tolerance is allowed on so here if you, you can see here the unilateral means one directional so the answer here is one side of the nominal size the algebraic difference uh, between the maximum limit and the basic size is called as so this is the upper deviation so upper deviation is nothing but the algebraic difference between the maximum limit and the basic size our next question is a basic shaft is one whose so here is the uh, second is the correct answer whose upper deviation is zero so the basic shaft is one whose upper deviation is zero a basic hole is one whose so the basic hole is one whose lower deviation is zero so for the shaft uh, basic shaft upper deviation is zero and for the hole uh, lower deviation is zero according to the indian standard specification 100 h6 g5 means that so here if you see the option uh, so 100 s6 g5 is nothing but the basic size is 100 mm so it knows that uh, basic size is 100 mm so the correct answer is b 
according to the indian standard total number of tolerance grades are so total number uh, total number of uh, tolerance grades are 18 according to the indian status specification 100s6g5 means that so this 100s6g5 means that the tolerance gate of hole 6 and h5 so it denotes means a h denotes the hole and g denotes the shaft and this is the uh, 100 means basic size that's it for this video uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so see you in the next video thank you for watching